Hello everyone, happy Sunday. It is Connor here. I am back for one little candle review today here for you guys. We are talking about winter's nap. So as you can see, this one is not lit up right now or burning. I will talk to you guys in a second about why I'm not burning it right now for this review. But um, I do want to talk about the sale going on right now at Kringle and Country Candle. So this scent is actually not on sale right now. So um, there's no sales going on for the jars, the daylight, or the wax melt on this scent. But there are a lot of different deals going on right now at Kringle, including the Christmas time sale, the Christmas ornament three pack candles, which is a really good last minute gift if you need a last minute gift. They also have a daylight 12 pack kit of some really good scents. Um, I believe they're all holiday scents. Let me check in there. Yeah, so it's Deck the Halls and then it's, um, it's four Deck the Halls, four Aram and Evergreen, and then four Christmas is here. I think that's what it is. So if you're interested in that, that's on a really good deal for $30. You get 12 daylights for $30, it's a good deal. They have the painted three wicks, which are on sale. So just a lot of good sales going on right now at Kringle. But unfortunately, this is not on sale in any of its forms. So we are talking winter's nap today. So before I get into the notes and description, um, this one is having some issues. And this video is not only just going to be the review, but it's also going to have a little bit of like a like formal just like talk about um paraffin wax in general so we'll talk about that more at the end of the video and just kind of talk about how paraffin wax works and how it is but um let's go ahead and get into the notes and descriptions so the scent description says pull yourself under the covers with this unique blend of soft and cozy to give you the perfect winter's nap your top notes are fresh cotton, your mid notes are powder, floral, and then your base notes are sandalwood and musk. So I really, really was intrigued by this scent. I actually picked it up when I was in Massachusetts at the Kringle store located in Deerfield. Um, I went in early last November, um, like two months ago, this November, I guess I should not have said last November, this November. Um, and I not only love the scent, but I was also pretty intrigued by the cute dog on the label. Isn't, I think it's a beagle maybe. It's very, very cute. I love the dog. And I think that's part of the reason why I picked it up. So smart, genius marketing there, Kringle. Um, but it was just a really pretty scent that I smelled and I really liked it and it grabbed my attention enough for me to pick it up and put it in my cart. So as I was burning it, I really liked the scent that it gave off, but I was kind of just like, this is definitely not the right candle to be burning right now. Honestly, this is definitely gonna be more of like a January, February pushing into like springtime because this has a lot of those like nice like fresh clean notes that you're going to want to have your house smelling like in like you know that post holiday time where you're done with the big tree scents you're done with the heavy gourmands you're done with the um you know you're done with the peppermints and the holiday scents like that and you want something fresh kind of lighter and like just cleaner smelling to kind of freshen your house up as you move away from the holidays and get into spring and I feel like this is the perfect scent for that and um you know it has those notes like cotton cotton is a really nice one for January and February when you're just trying to like get away from this holiday smells and dive into spring without fully getting in there um I think it has a little bit of floralness to it it's not too floral for me, it mostly is like a powdery, musky, sandalwood cotton type of scent. Um, it almost smells borderline laundry. I really like laundry scents. I know not everyone is like a fan of those very fresh scents. I really like them, especially during the springtime. And this is something I could totally see myself picking up again to like to like burn in January or February. And I honestly might just store this away for that time 
because this really does not fit in the season. Like, I don't think that this is a good candle for December. Save December for your balsam, for your peppermint, for your Christmas cookie. Save that for December in like the holiday time. And then this is a perfect one for like the first few weeks of January when you're not ready to dive into floral and citrus. You're not ready for super fruity and you just need a lighter like fresh clean air scent this is the perfect scent to go for and like i said it has that cute doggy label on it so i really do like this scent and i'm actually burning it in my bedroom because i feel like this is where it fits the best for me it's definitely like a fresh bedroom type of scent it kind of smells like fresh fresh sheets um let me smell it yeah, it definitely has like a laundry smell to it. This would be a really nice like wax melt to put in your laundry room. I actually just thought of that. <laughs> I'm like, this would be a good one to have in your laundry room while you're doing laundry and like put it in a melter. Um, so yeah, I just really like this one and I am burning it in my bedroom. So now to why I'm actually not, I, why I don't have lit it up right now um, and why I'm not burning it right now. So I just wanted to show you guys, and it's a lot easier to see it when the candle is not lit up. There's a lot of wax discoloration going on right now with the wax. So I'll turn it to its side so you guys can see a little bit more. This is something that happens with paraffin wax. I'm not really sure. No, I don't really know why, or I'm not really sure why. But, um, and I'm not a candle scientist. I've never really made candles before. So I have no idea the science behind it, but there's definitely science behind it because... I see it all the time with paraffin candles, a wax discoloration. So it's like, this is where I burn the candle down to and like where the pool has stopped and clearly it's like getting dirty. Now, when I'm burning this, I see a lot of like that wick residue in the wax and it's kind of just sitting there like fallen wick is just sitting in the wax and it's kind of disgusting, gross to look at. But again, that's just something that I see all the time with paraffin wax. So. This is definitely a major reason why I'm not a fan of paraffin wax. You'll also probably see on the lid and just like on the top of the jar, the soot. I'll sacrifice my finger. As you guys can see, there's some darkness there and just as you can see, there's soot. So that's just another thing that does happen with paraffin and that is probably why that's one of the main reasons I prefer a soy candle over a paraffin blend. They just don't have that clean burn that you get in, you know, they usually have some sootiness to it, definitely some wick problems. And that's just why I don't prefer paraffin as much. So that's my little chit chat on paraffin. Um, other than that though, this one is actually doing okay for the strength in the throw um i would say the strength is like a five it's not a strong scent whatsoever it's definitely a lighter scent and i really think that this is meant to be more of a background candle so if you prefer those scents that are a little bit lighter and don't have as much smell to them this is definitely going to be one that you're going to want to go for i really don't think this would do well downstairs in a more open concept it does really well for me here in my bedroom and gives me about like a five and a half. I don't like super powerful scents in my bedroom. So that's why I really think that this one's perfect because I walk in and it's just a very like faint light smell and it's not gonna make me wanna leave my bedroom. It's just very comforting, soft and clean and it's not gonna blow me away or make me, you know, wanna leave. So I really do like it for that aspect, but Definitely some performance issues just because of, you know, the sooting and the wick problems and just that like wax discoloration. And then, honestly, you wouldn't think this, but the wax discoloration makes the candle smell different too. Like when I have it lit, when I first lit it, it smelled different. Like when it just had that like clean white wax that you see right here, that's what it had at first and I lit it and it smelled like the scent that I knew and love, but then when I burn it with this wax discoloration, I kind of get like a dirtier smell to it, like kind of like a burnt smell. I wouldn't say it smells burning, but it just smells dirtier and kind of murky. And it's just definitely not the same scent that you purchased. It kind of smells like a mixture of that scent watered down with like a 
the dirtier smell to it and it's just not not very enjoyable so definitely is super frustrating you know with any um <clears throat> of the wax discoloration but yeah that is my thoughts on winter's nap let me know down below in the comments if you have ever tried this one out and let me know your thoughts on it if you have and let me know if you're having any of the same issues with paraffin candles specifically in the country candle line from gringle i am hearing that they are reformulating nothing confirmed yet and i am an ambassador but i have not heard anything confirmed yet about like a reformulation in the blend i do hope so because I feel like lately with a lot of my country candle reviews, I've just been complaining a lot about paraffin wax and just I really hope that they can improve the wicks and just like the paraffin and all. Um, I don't think that it's terrible and I definitely think that they could come back and totally, you know, work on this and make people really love paraffin again. But I just because of Yankee, I just think that I have a love-hate relationship with paraffin and I really don't want to see that happen with the country line so still kind of on the fence about paraffin right now but um let me know down below in the comments if you have any of these same issues thank you guys so much for watching here um if you want to purchase this one you can use my code connor loves candles to get 15 percent off of your order and i will link that down below as well as the code if you are interested in using it it is an affiliate code, by the way, so if you are not comfortable, of course, do not use, only use to your comfort. But again, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. I really would appreciate it. And turn on that notification bell to get notified every time I upload. I will be back tomorrow for another video, and I will see you guys then. Bye.